All right, Annette, here is 1202 Walnut. A couple numbers missing, but we'll get those taken care of. This is a craftsman style home. Indicative columns there, probably built in the 20s. Big concrete porch. You got a fence all the way around the perimeter. Uh, coincidentally, a good friend of mine has this listing. Uh, as you walk in, you do have the bars on the window, as you can see. You enter into living room. It's got all new carpet, new uh, laminate flooring entryway, wood case windows, probably the old leaded glass might have been replaced. Uh, some beams in here, a couple of built-ins, which is pretty common for this era of property, which is very desirable. Floor furnace for the front unit. We have bedroom number one. Bedroom number one has closet, also has Jack and Jill bath. We'll go around for that. In the back here, we have bedroom number two, also with a bath and a closet. Sink, stand up shower, commode. So you're looking at uh, three quarter bath here. And then there's that built in again. So bedroom number three. This one has the shared bath with bedroom number one. Full bath, closet. And then we head back into the kitchen. Stove, hood, no fridge, sink. I do see some dead roaches in here. I think they must have bombed the place. Um, they're pretty much throughout the property. Bedroom number four in the back here, a little bit smaller. It does have a large room off to the side of it, which could be used as a closet. That door actually attaches to the back unit, okay? Um, on the other side of the kitchen, is another open room here which would be probably good it's like a little porch or a breezeway or probably would be good to put laundry in there's no laundry that i can see in the front unit as we exit the rear of the property we see the entrance to unit number two i'll show you that then i'll walk you around the back so we've got a nice open big space which is going to be living room and kitchen, pretty large. Looks like all new cabinets. I believe this is somewhat of a flip, although it's not like super high quality stuff. Wall furnace here. You've got bedroom number one, step down with a closet. And then it also has, uh, I'm sorry, that's the closet. And then this is the door that opens into the other property, okay. So that's bedroom number one. We have a full bath here. Everything's in pretty good shape. Bedroom number two in the back. Decent size, not huge by any means, but you could easily fit a queen in here. And then a window to the backyard, which I'll take you to now. So that is living room. We're gonna step out here. And from the front of the property, Got a nice long driveway, three to four cars will fit there, no problem. Actually, really, I mean, it goes all the way back here. You could probably line up seven cars. And then in the back of the property, you see the three parking spaces and a big storage shed. So a good sized lot, I'm guessing around 6,000 square feet. Um, there is a water heater over here. So uh, only one meter for the property. So this is not uh, metered as two units. It's zoned as a single family residence with a permitted mother-in-law's quarters, which is the back. And I believe the tax record shows us having five bedrooms, although I count six. And I believe it said four baths, although I count three. Um, and then I see some deferred maintenance on the roof. Um, so all in all, looks like they've done some upgrades, fixed up a few things, uh, cleaned it up enough to sell it. Um, does need a little bit of work. Uh, you would need to put in laundry somewhere, either in the back here or, uh, or in this little area just off the kitchen with the front unit. Unless I'm missing something, but I did not see anywhere that's plumbed for laundry. I'll follow up on that though. Okay, I'll send you more details via email. Thanks.